Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Lamb of God. I want to touch up on tattoos and piercings. Is that a sin? Yes, it's a sin. The Lord condemned it. In the book of Leviticus 19, 28, the Lord said, You shall not make any cuttings upon your flesh, nor print any marks upon you, for I am the Lord. So the Lord made it very clear to us that we shall not print any marks or get any piercings on our body. You may say, well, you got tattoos and you got piercings. People say that, to, say that to me all the time, which I do. But I was foolish when I got these tattoos on my body. I was carnal minded. I was caught up in the world and didn't have no true, genuine relationship with Jesus Christ. I was yet in my sins when I got these tattoos. I got a tattoo on my face. I got tattoos on my arms, on my hands. I got tattoos all over my body, but I was foolish when I got these things. It's not okay. And, you know, the Bible say in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20, that our bodies is a temple of God. Our bodies is a sanctuary. It's a, it's a temple that God had given to us. And we were bought with a price. Therefore, we shall glorify God in our bodies and in our spirit. And, you know, many people go back to the Leviticus 19, 28, when the Lord condemned tattoos and piercings. They be like, well, that's the Old Testament. We don't got to keep the law. That's the law. Jesus said, I don't think that I came to destroy the law nor the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill the law. So, yes, it still applies today. Getting tattoos and piercings, the Lord condemn it. It's a sin. Now, before you give your life to Jesus Christ and you become born again, before you decide to surrender your life to Jesus and you already have tattoos, that is not a sin. Because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if anyone comes to Christ, you become a new creature. Old things are passed away and all things become new. So you become a new creature once you choose to surrender your life to Jesus Christ and, and repent and turn from your sins and become born again. You become a new creature. So all the things that you have done in the past no longer matters to the Lord. So therefore, if you come to the Lord having tattoos and piercings on your body, when you give your life to the Lord, he'll wash you clean as white as snow. That's why the Lord said in Isaiah 118, come now while you in a part of your sins. Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Okay, so if you already got tattoos and you decide to give your life to Jesus Christ, that's not a sin. But if you give your life to Jesus and become born again and you decide to get tattoos and piercings on your body, that's a sin. And you're condemning yourself. Tattoos and piercings is a sin. The Lord condemned it. We shall, we shall glorify God in our bodies. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10, everything we do, whether we eat, whether we drink, whatever we do, we shall do all for the glory of God. And when you're getting tattoos and stuff on your body, you're not doing that to glorify God. You do it to glorify yourself. Just like I did when I was foolish and carnal minded. When I got these tattoos on my body, I did it to glorify myself. I might have got the Lord's name on my arm, but I wasn't doing it to give him the glory. I was doing it to glorify myself. Because soon as I got it, I was quick to take pictures of, hey, y'all, post it on Facebook. Check out my tattoos. You glorifying yourself. That don't bring glory to God. Lord condemn tattoos and piercings. It's a sin. Turn away from your wicked ways. Holiness is still right. And deliverance is still real. Shalom.